New at 5 o'clock, railroad workers, some of them say it's become a violent job and they never signed up for it. Seven current or former Long Island Railroad employees are suing, blaming the railroad for not protecting them from attacks by passengers. I would assume reporter N.J. Burkett, live in Mineola with the story for us. Newt. Right, Bill. Uh, the MTA says police patrols have been stepped up in recent months, but tonight critics say that's not nearly enough, that more needs to be done to protect the workers. Now, these lawsuits have been filed in federal court, seeking damages of up to $20 million. The workers say it's become a dangerous job, collecting fares on the Long Island Railroad. Tonight, their union president says they're right. They don't want to pay the fare, and then when the conductor does his job or her job, that's when the confrontation begins, and it unfortunately leads into a, a physical assault. Six LIRR conductors have filed lawsuits, along with a station cleaner, alleging that the railroad is not doing enough to protect them, that they're expected not just to collect the fare, but to enforce it, and they claim they were assaulted by riders who refused to pay. Their attorney is Philip Dinhofer. We've had some severe injuries. We have one person who lost his hearing. I had another person who suffered a traumatic brain injury from a blow to the Fed. And we had uh, two women who've been sexually assaulted. MTA officials are cracking down on fare evasion on the subways and on the commuter trains. By their own estimates, the agency loses roughly $700 million to fare evasion every year. But a spokesman says there are extensive safety protocols already in place, adding, quote, if any employee finds themselves in a situation where they feel unsafe, they are encouraged to contact the MTA police for assistance. Transit union leaders say assaults against their members have increased in confrontations with riders at the end of line stations. Myron Pollock was stabbed after he says a rider stormed off his train at Utica Avenue. Last week, Anthony Simon spoke in solidarity at a transit union rally. If they want these trains running, if they want this system moving, it is going to be us that moves this system. It is going to be us. That tells them what to do. He says better training will make workers safer. We have so many different conductors that did not come here with training on how to de-escalate a situation. So training is important. Training is necessary, and we need to move forward on that. Anthony Simon tells me he will meet with MTA security officials in the coming days. New training and protocols, he says, will be at the top of the list. Live tonight, Mineola, Long Island, NJ Burke at Channel 7 Eyewitness News. All right, thank you, NJ.